Hello, my freshman explorers. Um, I just want to apologize if you hear a baby crying or a dog barking or squeaking his toys. That is uh, what I am living in. So also you might hear some football in the background. But other than that, you should be able to um, hear me. So this is, uh, as promised, an Among Us character. And I um, also created a jack-o'-lantern and decided to put that on his head um, for no apparent reason, just to uh, kind of copy what they were doing in the game. So this is the Among Us character with his space pack. Uh, I didn't realize how unique and weird this character is until I was actually trying to create it. So the first uh, one we will do is the jack-o'-lantern. So what you need to do is go into on shape. So you guys are not in our domain, so you won't have to go into bptech.onshape.com. Yours is simply cad.onshape.com. So just go, go into cad.onshape.com and then you should be able to sign in. And you're gonna, you should be able to go into your documents or it'll probably bring you to a page like this. And the first, the first thing you're gonna do, so see these are, these are my two um, latest and greatest uh, things I made, the Among Us character and then the um, jack-o'-lantern. So to start, we're, I'm gonna make the jack-o'-lantern. So click on create, document, and jack-o'-lantern, part two. So from here, um, again, these are your planes, right? Your front, top, right? And if you don't want them in, this is your graphics area, so where you'll actually be creating a part. If you don't want that there, you can click the key P, and then the planes will just go hidden. Um, but we want them there, so just click P again, and it'll be there. So the first thing you always have to start with is a sketch and um, from a sketch you will make 3d objects so click on sketch and then click on the front plane so now notice your sketch is in the front plane over here is your viewing cube so I want to be kind of centered or normal to the front plane I'm going to click on front plane to do that and um, from here, we're actually going to do a simple revolve for this. And that is this 3D feature over here. So don't click on any of this yet because um, we, we need to make our drawing first. So I'm going to start with a line. So you can actually click on line or hit the L key. So that's kind of a hot key. So just like all these in, in the parentheses, see it says G says L, those are hotkeys. So once, once you get good at this program, you're just like constantly pressing hotkeys to get into the functions. So once I have my line enabled, I'm just gonna draw my line from the origin all the way up. Um, and we'll make it about two. So we don't have to go, we don't have to go crazy with dimensions since we're just creating some organic features. Uh, organic meaning like just like natural sort of sort of um, models so we don't have to go crazy with um, dimensions yet. so once I once I make my line about 2.52 to get out of this function right I'm in my line function right now to get out of it I'm gonna hit escape which is the top left button in on your keyboard 
once I have this line, this is the line of revolution. So this line is where I'm going to revolve whatever else I make around it. And I'm going to make a spline. So this, this is a spline. And all these, all these points within a spline are, you, it's like it's making a curve. So I'm going to start here. And then my next, my next point, you're going to notice that it's going to be able to curve that segment. So I'm going to click here, and then that curves, that curves the line a little bit. And so I'm making the top part of the pumpkin, so it, it need, needs to go down a little bit. And then, uh, and then I'm just going to kind of keep, keep going around, making a, um, making kind of like a circle, a half circle. But again, I'm not making a, a real half circle because pumpkins aren't perfect circles. So once I create, once I go all the way around, I hit escape again to get out of that function. So now I have a closed, I have a closed area that I can revolve. So to revolve this piece, I'm going to click on the revolve and it automatically takes faces of sketch one. So that all automatically populates there. I need to choose a revolve axis though. So I'm going to click in here and then I'm going to click that axis that I made originally. And once I click that axis, it automatically generates. And then I'm going to click the check mark. So now to check out what I just made, you can use your arrow keys to kind of look around, see how it is. Looks pretty good. And um, now I need to hollow this out. So to hollow it out, I'm actually going to do th almost the same same thing that I did, um, except I'm going to I'm going instead of instead of add a revolve, I'm going to remove a revolve. So I'm going to click into Sketch again, click on my front plane make another line from here to the point right here. See how there should be a point that comes up. I'm going to click on that point. And now I'm going to make another spline starting a little bit lower than that point. And I'm just going to kind of hollow it out. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect. Organic is a good thing because we don't have to spend time on measuring and dimensions. It's just kind of um, we're freehanding it. So um, now once I have this closed off again, I'm going to revolve this. So click on revolve this time I'm removing the axis again I need to click on the axis click on that axis and merge with all check that off so you're not gonna see anything um, because it's within it's within the pumpkin right um, we will see it once we cut the face out uh, but we're not going to see anything right now. So now we have our we have the um, pumpkin part, the body. I'm going to make a stem. So this is going to require a different 3D function, and we're going to use sweep. So we're going to again we have to create a sketch to start. Click on sketch. Click on front plane. Click on we're going to use a spline again and then we're going to kind of try to find find that point so that point comes up if you just kind of hover around um, so that point is the the divot that our um, right here like our, our pumpkins in so we want that divot 
and then doing this I'm just using the scroll I'm zooming in and zooming out um, and now I'm going to just sort of create this stem coming out and now once I'm done remember it's escape to get out of the function and then I'm going to check that off so now I'm going to create a plane that meets this point. So I need to so I, I need to create a plane. So the, the three planes I have right now, right, are top, front, and right. I need to create a plane that goes up here so I can then make an, another drawing on that plane and have it follow or sweep along this line. So to do that, I'm going to um, get kind of in like a 3D, uh, iso they call it an isometric view, um, or a view that offers some perspective on my 3D object. So you can do that. I'm holding down the scroll button to do this, or you can actually just go, go and like mess around um, with, with these functions, or you can press your arrow keys. Your arrow keys also do the same thing and you can kind of move around your object with your arrow keys. Um, okay. So now I need to create a plane. So click on this button here. So plane is this, um, if you're ever having trouble finding something, you're just going to, you can just use the search tools right here and you can type it in so plane and there you go it's right there so you click on that and now it's going it, to now it's going to bring you into that function so the two entities that I'm going to select to create this paint plane are the top plane and the point that you just started that spline at once I have those two points selected I'm going to click check Um, plane point check okay so sorry so how you how you actually do that let me just do that over again um, so what you're gonna do right is click the plane function you're gonna select the top plane and this point here but you need to um, the plane type is going to be plane point because you're you're lining that plane up with that point check it off and now you're you're there so from here from here you're going to create a sketch on this plane so sketch select plane one and to get a better view of what's going on i'm going to click on top so now I have a view of the top of my pumpkin. For, for You can use whatever you want for um, the stem, but I think, uh, I know pumpkins kind of have, edge uh, stems have edges to them. So I'm just going to create an inscribed polygon right here. Click on that point, and then I'm going to create my um, stem. So I, I don't want it huge, right? Uh, small decent sized stem like that is good um, and then the edges so as you move your mouse out or in towards the um, center you'll increase and decrease the amount of uh, sides so I kind of like we'll do an even number of six and now we have the beginning of our stem so now this face is going to follow along that path to create a stem so we have this all we this is all set so check off our sketch now we now have to introduce a 3d feature and that's going to be sweep so click on sweep and faces, sketches, regions to sweep. You can click on this sketch here, 
or you can actually click on the sketch in the plane in, in this and it'll it'll select it sweep path is this path here and merge with all check that off and then check that off and we'll look from the front and we got a little pumpkin stem so now with this it's just a pumpkin right it's not um, there's no there's no face to it yet so we're ha gonna have to create the face so to create the face I'm gonna click on sketch again click on front plane and now I'm gonna just start cutting in the face um, but what I'm gonna do that's gonna make your life easier is we're gonna mirror some entities so to do that we need to create a axis again just like how you created the revolutionary axis we're gonna create an axis um, with a line in the middle of your pumpkin so click on line and then click on construction so a construction line doesn't impact the uh, when you try to make something 3d it's kind of it's kind of like um, like a tracing line that you would use to make like an object you're not going to use it in the actual object so then click on construction starting from the base here the origin we're just going to click all the way up and it doesn't really matter how far up you go and then escape to get out now we're going to create uh, use an inscribed polygon one of the eyes and we'll make it triangle and then um, we'll make another no a little nose here and that that will also be a triangle have the nose going down like that and then I'm just gonna create a square mouth make it kinda easy Um, but I need to get rid of this line here so to get rid of that line I'm gonna trim it so that's the scissor function or you can click the hotkey M go over to this line click on it make sure it's open and now once I have all all of my entities I'm gonna mirror this eye and this mouth so to do that, I have to go to the mirror function, select a mirror line. I'm going to select this line that I made originally. And now I'm going to select all the entities that I want to want to mirror. And as I select them, you're going to see them come over here on the other side. So select this line, this line, this line, this line, this line, and this line and check it off so now I have um, all of my all of my lines and I'm going to so click on this sketch click on extrude click on remove and I am going to select for this blind condition I'm going to select through all check it off and if it does not if nothing happens on this side it's probably because it's on the other side and it is so it's on the back and that's all right um, kind of looks like a cat pumpkin <laughs> so now we have our pumpkin and congratulations, you made your first um, 3D modeled part. So uh, to change the color, I can right click on the part, go edit appearance, and I can make it orange. And there you go, you created your first part.